What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Thank you as always for being here. You're looking really good. Like I'm looking at you and you're looking really nice. Anyways, today I'm bringing you my album review of Talk Talk's album, Spirit of Eden, their fourth studio album released 1988 and uh, as with many album reviews but not all of them you can go and find my initial thoughts my first reactions to each of the tracks here on the album which i'll link down below somewhere but for now let's get into the album review does the spirit of eden carry on even after paradise was lost when i'm listening to this album one of the mental images that i get in my mind is that of a cathedral some abandoned church abandoned by man but reclaimed by nature beyond names beyond religion perhaps even beyond god a wonderful hymn of spirituality and man heaven and earth considered the progenitor of the post-rock genre spirit demonstrates an unhurried accomplishment content to dwell within its hushed sounds and improvisations candlelit elaborations and self-contained environment hollis leads the music with space atmosphere and care allowing each musician involved in here to play through feeling rather than stringent composition. It's this approach that leads to a very organic movement throughout the 40 minute runtime with meaningful expressions by all involved. Also of really big note is the production, which really captures every single note played and every single note withheld, every glancing chord and allows the musical scenery to flourish. Opening with the rainbow, from nocturnal emptiness and orchestra finds their seats, tunes their instruments, and guitar indiscriminately begins to light the room. Harmonica sounds the alarm and the journey in this album begins. Feltum's wavering harmonica rings a signal to song. With depth and soul, Hollis expressfully enters in a faint glow, edging our collective spirits with an unabashed mood. With a brief and blissful rise, a dash of dissonance before taking a softly vibrant mood, Eden is a really, really nice follow-up track to the album with rich bass and very spiritual organ. It creates almost this musical and audio place of worship. The fervor is further flamed. Oh my God, who wrote that? <laughs> with the constant dynamics and contrast, especially the very scratchy guitar that climaxes in each buildup here in this track. Now, Desire. I love the beginning of this track with its very solemn guitar and organ combination. Bass and piano slowly move inward before collapsing into its brief yet really frantic outburst. I really enjoy the raw percussion in this one, especially the break halfway through with its growling guitar just stripping through. It really changes the environment from a very quiet intensity to a raucous shock. Inheritance moves us from soul shaking to soothing reflection. Hollis' syllabic enunciation marks every spoken line with emphasis, empowered with crisp drums and grounded bass. I also feel that while the whole album has shown a jazz improvisation spirit, this track displays it most obviously in its sparks of piano and bassful maneuvers. I Believe In You was probably the most straightforward track on the album, and yet at the same time, while it's straightforward, it still shows that minute experimentation in sound as it builds its collage, especially around the bridge. One thing that really stands out to me is those echoes of choir that appear in the ending notes. It's one of those small things, but the smallest things make the biggest difference. Wealth is just this gorgeous and reaffirming benediction to conclude the service, so to speak. I love how enveloped the organ becomes and how it makes me feel and how warm the solace it provides. I also really enjoy the lyrics, especially on this one, and the connection between this track and Inheritance, using the inheritance we've received from times past and opening the wealth we have to others. So those are just a couple thoughts on each of the tracks here on the album, but now Let's get into my favorite lyrics, my favorite songs, and that. <laughs> so my favorite lyrics are, once again, in wealth. Create upon my flesh, create approach upon my breath. Bring me salvation if I fear. And then the chorus, take my freedom, sacred love. I really like this, this dedication that Hollis is giving himself to. What is he giving himself to? Music spirituality, God, who knows? It sounds like it's speaking to a God of some sort, but just the dedication that he's giving himself over to, 
to create, to bring to life. I think that that willpower that he's showing, that sacrifice he's showing, is just really something to be valued. And you can really hear that in the music itself. And then my favorite moment on the album is just all of wealth, to be honest. <laughs> And then just getting into my basic song rankings for the album, it's Wealth, The Rainbow, Eden, Desire, Inheritance, and I Believe in You. So those are my thoughts on the album, but I wanna know your thoughts because my thoughts I know, your thoughts I don't. So <laughs> you can please leave me your thoughts on the album down below. Uh, I wanna hear your favorite lyrics, your favorite tracks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, before you leave, if you don't mind liking the video, that helps me a lot. You can also subscribe if you haven't already, because if you've watched this this far, like, come on, you know, <laughs> just come on. Anyways, you can also follow me on Twitter and support the channel on Patreon. But I hope that you enjoyed your time here. Hope you enjoyed the album review. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.